Hi guys, it's Elliot here from Elliot FPV Reviews and today I'll show you how to charge a LiPo battery on the EVP C1 XR. Before we start to charge our battery, we should gather some information about it. First, we need to know how much cells our LiPo has. This is usually written on the LiPo itself as the amount of S's. One cell equals one S, two cells equals two S, etc. If you don't see the amount of cells, then you might see a voltage. Every cell has a standard voltage of 3.7 volts, so you can just divide the voltage by 3.7. The second thing that we need to know is the capacity of the battery. This is usually written in milliamp hour. This means that a battery of 1500 milliamp hour can supply 1.5 amps of power for one hour and then it's empty. One amp hour is 1000 milliamp hours. For example, this one, it's written 4000, this means 4000 milliamps, like you can see here, and it's a 2S battery or 7.4 volts. So 7.4 divided by 3.7 is 2, so 2S. So this LiPo is a ACE high discharge LiPo battery. As you can see right here, it's written 14.8 volts or 4S and it's 1300 milliamps. So you can charge this battery at 1.3 amps. This is another example. This is a tattoo four cell, uh, 14.8 volt lipo of a capacity of 650 milliamps. Now that we have this information, we can start charging our battery. So we'll start out by plugging in the charger. I'll zoom in a bit for you. Then, we want to charge a lithium, lithium polymer battery or a LiPo, so we need to go to that program. I'm already on this program that says program select LiPo battery, but if you aren't, you can just click the most left button a few times until you're there. And to enter the program, you just need to Click this button, the most right one, to select. I recommend to balance charger LiPo. This makes sure that all cells have the same voltage and that you don't overcharge one, which is very da dangerous and can lead to a fire or even explosion. To go to this setting, you just need to click one of these two buttons uh, to go to the setting that says bell charge or balance charge so you can just go backwards or forwards the next step is very important <coughs> now we need to give the charger some information about our lipo this is the information that we got gathered at the beginning of the video to start configuring just click the most right button once. The first thing that you need to set is the cell count. You can use these two buttons in the middle to set the number of cells and then click the most right button to confirm. So for this example I'll be charging a 4S battery. So I'll set this to 4S and then click enter. The second thing is the capacity. This is the amount of milliamp hour in your LiPo. Again, you can use these two buttons in the middle to set the amount. If your battery has an amount that you can't set, you can just pick the first option that comes next. So for example, if you have a battery or of 850, but you can only choose between 800 or 900, you should use 900 so the next option my battery is 1300 milliamps so I'll set that 
Now you just have to choose at what power the charger will charge your battery. I recommend to just leave this the same as the capacity, but remember that this is in amps while the capacity is in milliamps. Normally the charger should do this automatically. So I've set 1300 milliamps and the charger uh, picks 1.3 amps automatically. So this is all right for me. So I'll just click this button to confirm. Now we're almost ready. We just need to connect our LiPo. To do this, you'll need the right cable. So you just need a cable that has the same connector as your battery. So this is a Traxxas connector, or here is a XT60, or this is a barrel plug. And on the other end, you can find uh, these banana plugs that go in the side of your charger. So I'll be charging a battery with the XT60. So I'll plug these in to the side. Make sure that you put them in the right hole that corresponds to their polarity. So negative is black and positive is red. So I'll put these in. Like that. Now all that's needed is just to connect the m main battery lead to the charging cable and then the balance plug to this breakout and you just have to look at what fits and just plug it in. Or you can read it here, it also says 4S but it's easier just to look at what's the right size and just plug it in. So once everything is connected, you can just long press the most right button to confirm it and it will start to charge and you should hear this tone. And now it's charging. So here you can see the, voltage, the current voltage of the battery and here you can see the power at which the charger is charging your battery. And if you press to the right, or the plus here, you can also view the individual cells of the battery and its and their corresponding voltages. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for some of you. I know that some of you have been asking uh, to do a how-to tutorial on how to charge with this charger and yeah I hope this helps and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out so yeah have a nice day bye